Hi, it's Mark from Centerline Systems. Hey, today I'm just going to try to do a really quick yet informative video uh, talking about our strap wrap or what's called the padded strap wrap, wrap on the website. So our padded strap wrap or strap wrap is clearly designed around our shoulder strap. However, you could use it with a number of different shoulder straps or weapon slings. Now on our shoulder strap, as you can see, the padded strap wrap goes in between the two reducers and therefore encompassing the whole shoulder strap. But if you're using it on a different shoulder strap or again, a weapon sling, what you can also do is you could take a piece of uh, 550 cord, and this is just an example, there's a million different ways you could do this, but you could secure it to the sling or that other shoulder strap and then come up here and girth hitch or tie off somehow to the uh, one of the two molly loops that are on either end of the strap wrap. And speaking of those guys, so you can see there's one on either side of the strap wrap. Some other things that you could secure there, you could do a chem light buzz saw, you could do a fire steel, uh, or you could do a small, a smaller knife. I mean, you don't want to put a giant knife there, but well, you could do whatever you want to do. It's yours, right? All right, so a, um, another thing is when you set this up, the strap wrap on your shoulder strap, so whether you're using a scout, a mother or any other type of uh, device. It could be a G2 with a strap kit to a shoulder strap, but you wanna have the rear of that product, right? So this is a Scout and it's in a horizontal carrier right now. So here's the rear of the Scout. When I put the strap wrap on, I want the opening of the Velcro to be towards the rear. What that's gonna mean is no matter what hip this the mother or the scout is on, as long as my shoulder strap is over to my opposite shoulder, I'll have the nice smooth edge up against my neck and I'll have the rough other edge uh, on the outside. A couple other examples of things that you can put on the interior of the strap wrap. And that was kind of one of the key uh, design functions. I didn't want to just have a pad. I wanted to have a pad in which you could utilize this interior space. So everything from basic cordage, whether it's 550 cord, whether it's a burnable cord, you know, a reflective cord, uh, don't forget, even things like boot laces could be S-rolled in here. You could either S-roll it in this type of direction, or you could just S-roll it down this way. Or if you want to get really creative, you could braid it into the uh, shoulder strap itself. Other things that you could unwind and put inside of here, right? So a marking tape, additional webbing. Yeah, you never know when you need more webbing out in the field. 100 mile an hour tape. You always need 100 mile an hour tape or duct tape. So I just took a small piece of it, but I could have measured out the length of the strap wrap, folded a whole bunch, you know, folded up a couple different times, folded it in half, and then I could have put it inside here and then secured it on the inside, all right? For people who got a little bit more of a tactical uh, angle going on, you could take things like your pointy talkie, fold it up, put it inside there. You could take a loom tape or IR tape, fold it up and put it inside there. You could take all kinds of different items from your basic survival kit, whether it's uh, Kevlar cord, wire, lights, uh, small fire steel, chem light sticks, compasses, and you could lay these guys out inside there. Because when you fold this over, there's a lot of Velcro going on. This is not coming undone. All right. So a couple other things you might want to think about, you know, could be the straw from your uh, filtration straw. It could be a nasal pharyngeal. You could put other things like, you know, uh, purification tabs, um, electrolytes, smaller filters. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. And another thing you could just do is use this as a cord dispenser, right? So let's say you got all that 550 cord uh, inside of here and you want to use it for a ridge line. So you could come up, take your free end, come around a tree, tie it off around a tree, right? And then just keep walking out. Let's see if we can get this in any of the camera. And just keep walking out, walking out. You can see we get a ton of cordage in here. All right, that's kind of boring. Maybe I put too much cordage in there. All right, but then anyway, come to the end, unclip this uh, little uh, night eyes, and then loop it around your other tree. And then now there's a ridge line, and that's all this is designed to save space. So inside of your mother pockets or the scout pocket, whether you got a mess tarp from Bushcraft Outfitters or, or whatever the gear is that you have in there, this was designed to give you extra comfort on the uh, for carrying the bottle carrier, the canteen carrier, but also so you could utilize it, right? A D-ring right here with uh, keys or gloves, cordage, first aid material, whatever the case may be. So 
down and dirty just trying to give you some uh, ideas of how you can use the strap wrap uh, they're available on our website they come in multi cam ranger green coyote brown and our new wolf gray all right as always if you have any questions reach out to me via email or cell phone i'll help out as best i can in the meantime have a good weekend keep thinking keep moving never quit I can feel some new face.